How's it going and welcome to The Guitar Effect. My name's Rob. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing this, the Trident from Nuex. Um, this is Nuex's relatively new flagship kind of uh, multi-effects amp modeler device. Um, but before I do, I'll ask you to please like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be kept up to date every time I put out a new video. So before I get into uh, chatting about the Trident, I want to talk about basically why I why I have it. So I reached out to Nuex. Um, I've made a good few videos about their Cerberus product, which is a, a multi effects unit without amp modeling on board, just a cap sim. Um, but it's more like overdrive, distortion, boost, modulation, delay, and reverb. And it's in really small form factor, very similar to this, like almost like two thirds the size of this. But what's really interesting about it, there's no menus at all. It's just knobs on the top of the unit unit that you set a certain way, save a preset, turn the knobs again, save another preset, turn the knobs again, save another preset. It's like a, for want of a better word, I guess it's like an old school um, multi-effects unit, but with analog overdrive and distortion, which is really, really interesting. And it's very affordable. I got that. I had it for about a year. I made loads of videos with it. Um, I made it by itself. I made it using the Joyo American sound in the effects loop of it for going direct. And then I made the last video I made about it was where I used the New X Amp Academy with it. And I, when I heard about the Trident, I kind of thought it's kind of like putting the um, Cerberus and Amp Academy together in one device. And I found that really interesting, right? So this, first of all, transparency, New X have sent this out to me for free. Um, and I'm able to keep it, which is fantastic. Um, but they're not paying me to make this demo, so I can say whatever I think about it. Um, so I'm going to get into it now. So what this is, right? So this is the... I'm going to move closer to the camera for this. This is the Trident. Um, so what it is, it's a multi-effects unit with 10 switches on it um, and a load of knobs up the top, a little screen and a knob either side of the screen. So what this is, is basically a half preset half stomp box setup modeler and um, for those of you who don't know modelers are fully digital devices that can replace your pedals and amplifier um, and you go direct into a PA or into a recording interface or something like that actually I'm just going to move my mic yeah so it's to replace your guitar and amp basically either in a recording situation or in a live situation so I'm going to go through the the functionality and I.O. first of all. So you've got three foot switches at the bottom in the middle, A, B, and C. They are presets. You've got a bank up and bank down button. The back row of switches are slightly taller than the front row of switches, which is very cool and um, because it means they're easier to switch. So you have up and down here, you have A, B, C here. You have a boost foot switch here, which doubles as a tuner. You have a, a effects foot switch here which is like compressors pitch shifting stuff like that then you've got a modulation delay and reverb switch so no matter what preset you're on you can independently turn on and off delay or reverb delay modulation effects and boost and the boost is a selection of overdrive pedals and that's basically what this is in terms of using it right and then you have a section over here where you have the amp controls here and then you've got these two encoder knobs which allows you to control loads of stuff within each preset but then for the the effects, which is like I said, like I said, c compression and uh, filter and pitch shifting, and then the modulation, which is in this case chorus, tremolo, and phaser. You literally move switches up and down to select which one you want, and you turn the knobs to get the sound you want. Now that is very, 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 very different from nearly every other multi-effects unit. Every other multi-effects unit is based on menu systems where you go in or a visual readout of a signal chain. You go in, you select the thing and you use the same encoders all the time to get the sound you want. I've seen a few, few videos where this has, has, they have really gone to great pains to explain the fact that this is not what it looks like to Cerberus. It is not that related to the Cerberus. And that is true from the point of view, this is a fully featured top end modeler. But what it's, it's taken what's great about the Cerberus, which is its hands-on approach and presented a modeler in that format. 
So all your modulation effects, delay and reverb can all be set with knobs on the front of the unit per preset and then saved. Your amp settings can all be controlled with knobs on the front of the unit and, and then saved. But further to that, does it, there is a menu in Signal Chain where you can go in and tweak things further as you see fit. Um, and that's basically what the unit is, right? So it's a, it's a preset, half preset, half stomp box, as in you can select a preset and then select individual effects within that preset, um, which is really, really great uh, UI. UX, I should say. Well, UI and, and UX. Okay, so that's the top of the unit. And then on the back, right, there's an expression pedal input. Um, there is a input. There's a send and return, which is an effects loop. And then there is uh, two outputs, left and right. And there's a phone's output. And there's also MIDI in and out and a USB uh, for plugging it in to control it with the uh, supplied software. There's a master volume knob an auxiliary input and then there's two XLR outs to send this to the desk when you're at your gig or indeed to go straight into the uh, interface. Then the other thing that's on the front, there are four switches here on the unit, uh, noise reduction, amp, cab and EQ and they do what you think. They individually allow you to turn off the noise reduction, so the noise suppressor, the amp and cab and the EQ and I th I think you know those switches work per preset. I haven't actually had the unit long enough to know whether or not they work, so my email's gone matter, whether or not they work globally or per preset. So that's the uh, that's the basic you know setup and IO of the unit. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it up on screen and talk you through what everything does in more detail. And then after that we'll go into the audio demo and I'll show you how it sounds. But here is uh, like a description of how the whole thing works. So within this these, these two knobs here, if you hit the two of them, and um, this is select and this is, sorry, this is called, I can't see actually, it's because it's the home knob and this is the uh, parameter knob, right? So basically this is parameter and select. If you hit this one, it brings it into the signal chain, you hit this one, it brings it back out again. So almost like in, out. If you hit the two of them, you go into the master menu where you can control the output mode, you can cal calibrate an expression pedal, you can factory set, you can USB set which basically sets the um, parameters for the audio interface side of things. And then there's this parameter follow, which I haven't discovered what that is yet. I presume something to do with settings of knob when you save it. And then there's a MIDI se setting. Okay, and um, if I go back out again, see here, yeah. If I hit this, it brings me into the signal chain. So the signal chain has noise reduction, effects, which is this section here, comp, filter, and pitch. It has boost, which is this here. I'll talk about that in a second. It has an amp, cab. EQ, send return, mod, reverb, and delay. Okay, so noise reduction self explanatory. If I click into it, you have a threshold and a decay, and there's only one type of noise gate available. If I go back out again, um, I go to effects, you have uh, the compressor, right? And within the compressor, there is the K comp, studio comp, just, just those two red comp, K comp, and studio comp. If I go back a page, I'm still getting used to it into effects there's also oh yeah if i switch it down to filter filter then i have the dr q the wah and then on the pitch i have pitch bender and harmony okay so they're secondary options that are available under comp filter and pitch so that's a really good example of showing that i'll show you the same thing now on mod if i go to mod it seems like i just have chorus trim and phaser but if i go into chorus i have ce1 i have stereo chorus i have flanger i have chorus plus i have rotary speaker and i have vibrato and detune so there's actually many different chorus options there's only one tremolo if i remember correctly uh, back into tr modulation switch it to tremolo there's only one tremolo effect yeah and then down to phaser does uh, phase 90 phase 100 uni vibe right so you can see that there's many different options there so uh, and then there's you can individually turn on and off noise reduction amp cab and eq as well which is really useful they're available on these buttons here so i hit this the cab's turned off hit this the amp's turned off i'll just go back out to show you that now uh, amp on, amp off, that's amp on actually, and then cab off, cab on. So you can see, and it can bring you into the, the cab to show you how you want to edit stuff. So everything you need is at your fingertips here. and um, It's pretty amazing. Um, the one thing I will say about the boost is that within the overdrive slash boost section, 
there's only overdrives and boosts. There's no distortion, which I'll talk more about in the audio demo. But there you go, that's the layout of the unit. As you can see, it's pretty clever the way this is built. This is built for gigging musicians, and I think that that is really, really important differentiating uh, factor of this unit over other, like the Cerberus, over other multi-effects, and in this case, amp modelers. So let's take a listen to it now, and you'll see how it sounds. Okay, so for the demo of the Trident, I'm playing this Court 335 copy. It's called a Court Source CR, I think. Um, it's just a 335 copy. Um, I'm playing out of it into the input of the Trident, then out of the left output of the Trident straight into my uh, Focusrite Sapphire 6i6, Scarlet 6i6, I should say. So everything is being done at the moment by the, the Trident. I'm, I'm in, this is in a situation where I would intend to I be, I tend, intend on using it direct, okay? So for, like I said, it's the first of many demos. I'll be making another one where I'm using it into an amp with pedals and stuff like that, right? But starting off, um, I have three banks of sounds here, and this is the best way. It took me a long time to figure out the best way of demoing this unit. So what I did was, um, I have a new band that's a, a tribute band to the music of the noughties, right? So the Strokes and the White Stripes and the Arctic Monkeys and the Killers, stuff like that, Kings of Leon. Just the music from 2000 to 2010. And we're doing, like I said, all those bands. And so I wanted to get... And I haven't decided yet whether I'm going direct or not. But if I was going direct, I've set I've set up three patches on this cover off all that different music. And in that sense, the way that this unit is built was really really useful because it's very 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 quick to put sounds together. In one instance, I've built com preset completely from scratch, and in another instance, I've taken two other presets and then repeated them three times. I'll show you what I mean. Right. So there's three banks. There's one to do kind of. The more American kind of sound and stuff, so ironically, martial influence sounds. So that's for like the Killers and for the Kings of Leon kind of stuff. And then I have another bank to do stuff where I have to switch from heavy for from super clean to heavy for like a Weezer song. And then I have another bank where I deal with the Strokes kind of sound, which is a bit more indie. So this is kind of kind of rocky, right? So what I've done is I've three presets here. Right now they're all called Marshall. And what they are is like a JTM 45 uh, amp model. And then it's got like three stages of gain. So low gain, mid gain, high gain on three different presets, right? So low gain sounds like this. Mid gain sounds like this. And high gain sounds like this. And what they're for is either different levels of distortion for different songs, and then a lead preset at the end. So, for example, um, I, obviously I'm using that for Molly's Chambers by Kings of Leon. Then when I go into the verses, all I have to do is play lighter because of the uh, dynamic nature of the trident ability to read your pick attack. So if I can go from to in the verses, which is really, really important. So I don't need two sounds for that, I just literally hit it harder. For the chorus parts and then for the verses, just playing it like. Now it's not got no compressor on, but the natural compression is causing that light pick part to kind of bloom and, and be nice and loud. So that's kind of my low gain martial sound. So I've got a few effects on here. Obviously there's a reverb on, I think that's a spring. I've got a spring reverb on. So all I did there was go over to the reverb section, push it up to, uh, on this side, push it up to spring and dial in the decay and level to choice. Easy peasy, super quick. That's where this unit stands out, is in adding and editing effects on the fly. And that's where it's kind of Cerberus heritage and the way it's thought out mm. and the angle behind the unit, which I talked about in the intro parts of the video, really does come into its own. So if I want to go, oh, maybe I'd like that a lot more reverby. I literally reach over and dial up the level of reverb. Or dial it back. 
That's how this is great. There's no getting into a menu to go change that. And that's what the idea behind this unit is, is for making on the fly changes. So you can do that with the amp, you can do it with the delay and reverb, and you can do it with the mod and effects. You can't do it with the boost or overdrive section. You have to get into that and edit it, which I'll come to in a sec. And in that respect, it is very different from the Cerberus because those knobs are on the top of the Cerberus. Um, but that's fine. You know, having these mod and delay and reverb effects at your fingertips on the top of the unit is really is superb. The same thing if I felt that was too gainy, I could actually just roll the gain back a bit. But as it is, how I have it as it is. Now again, I didn't save anything, so I can go back and just make sure everything was exactly as I left. So in that respect, that's pretty cool. So moving on to the second preset now is kind of the the more sort of slightly heavier preset, and this is for kind of uh, rack and tours kind of stuff. And I have a boost in here to go into a heavy. Same thing, but just slightly heavier. And then at the end, I have a lead preset. But again, I can just tap in. And Also on this preset, if I wanted to have a rotary... So that's the first bank, it's kind of the Marshally bank. So for the second bank of presets, um, in the first bank I used... I said I went in and like picked an amp and set up the preset and everything myself from scratch. For the second bank, I've gone and taken a preset, specifically Pete Thorne's set of presets. I mean, who's not going to use Pete Thorne's presets? Um, to set up this one bank, which I use for going between a clean sound, a very clean sound, and a very heavy sound. Now, interestingly, normally if I was doing this on a multi effect unit of any kind, what I would do is I would have a clean sound and then use very much a distortion pedal, so a rat or like a Martian on a box style thing, or even a muff. But there's no distortion pedals in the boost. Like there's no high gain distortion pedals in the boost section, which is one thing I suspect they may change um, when the updates come out, because I think it's something that it needs. Um, I also think having overdrive available or boost available in the um, comp slash effect section would be useful to have two different gain stages so the way this is really kind of engineered is if you want to go from clean to heavy you would go from a clean amp preset to a heavy amp preset in my opinion i've gunned all the overdrive pedals to see do any of them kind of fulfill that need and they get kind of in the ballpark but none of them kind of do what i would want with a, like a rat muff or martial in a box style sound so what i've done is i've taken pete Thorne's deluxe reverb preset <laughs> Um, which just has like actually has everything on it. it has a boost it has a compressor it had a chorus I turned it off it had delay I turned it off and it really sounds like do I use this for Island in the Sun by Weezer I'll show you what I mean and then when it comes into the little kind of lead part in a second to delay on but then what I do then is when I go to the heavy part I switch to his Soldano SLO preset and it just does the job perfectly and 
And then on the last one, I have a... Simples, right? That's the second bank. And then the third bank I have is a more sort of indie-influenced uh, sound. Something I just want to check here uh, on the first one here with the modulation. Okay, so one thing before I move on. I do use the clean sound for Sing by Travis because I play the guitar part in the chorus. So I have a phaser here and it goes... this preset for it's just the only part I play in that whole song so that is the second set of the second bank of presets the third one now I'm using the uh, again it's called the LM clean preset I've taken it from the presets on board and tweaked it this is for kind of strokesy stuff right so I always play the role of Nick Valenci in, in when we're doing the stroke song so he tends to use I think Fender Hot Rod DeVille so I've gone for a Fender clean amp here um, and I use it for the stroke stuff so that's a clean sound so um the exact same thing in the second preset <coughs> but a little bit heavier for um, Reptilia so so that works really well and then the last one I have a lead sound so So all three of these presets use the same amp. Um, it's a Lux Reverb and they just have like low gain, mid gain, and then a lead. And the lead sound has a boosted delay, uh, a reverb on. And then the other thing is, in, we do juice box. So if I go on to the second one, there's a, a tremolo part in that at the beginning where it goes. Now, there's a really interesting thing here, and I can't work out what's going on. When I plug the tremolo in at any time, the whole thing gets loud. I've looked to see is there a volume boost in the tremolo settings uh, in the Trident, but I know that a lot of tremolo pedals like almost overcompensate for the fact that tremolo causes your signals to go down. It's a bit over the top for me there. Um, so what I would do is I would have the tremolo on there in the second part for the beginning of solo. And then I just switch to the solo. Sorry, wrong button. So no matter where I am, I can always get to that lead sound for the stroke stuff. And then there's a few other, like, I've got a delay on here. And I've got a mod, which is again, it's a tremolo. It's a phaser in this instance. Uh, and that's kind of it. So I have a compressor on on the, uh, the effects section. So then I'll show, show you as well the, the, the freeze function. <laughs> So as you can see, 
it is a very hands-on uh, modeler. Um, you know, I could go in and change any of the preset, any of the parameters on the delay reverb, modulation effects, and then I could change anything else by, or, and the amp, but I could change anything else by digging into the menu there really, really easily. And there's loads of demos of how to build presets and so on. I just want to kind of show how you might use it in a, in a live situation. So thanks very much to uh, New X for sending this out to me. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. And what I think is really cool about this is they've taken a different approach. And I think a more practical approach to setting up presets really quickly to gig with. Um, I think they've taken what was good about the Cerberus and sort of built a fully fledged modeler around that principle. It's really good. So there you go. Um, this is the first of three videos I'm going to make about this. So this is just giving a top level overview of the unit, showing like how I would use it to gig and how it accommodates that need very, very well. I'm going to make another video where I go through building one bank of three presets in great detail and show you how to program the unit effectively to get what you need out of it. And then I'm going to build another, I'm going to make another video, I should say, where I build a pedal board using this, right? So I, I integrate external pedals in the effects loop and show how I would use it into the front end of an amp, bypassing the amp modeling completely as a gigging solution for using like a house amp. And I think in all three situations, it's going to perform very well. So. There you go, that's look one at the Trident. Um, thank you again very much New X for sending it out. I'm really enjoying it. And thanks to everybody for watching, especially if you've got this far. If you have gotten this far, well then, you know, I reckon you might like the content. If you do, like and subscribe, it helps the channel out massively. And hit the notifications bell, you'll get notified every time I uplo upload a new video. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll see you next week for the next iteration of this where we go into building a preset. Thanks very much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.